this is Susan Leventero. This reading is going to be a quick reading for Aries. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, so first I feel like most of you are doing something completely different than your ancestors or in your lineage. Okay, your bloodline, right? Okay, that's what I feel like. You're uniquely different and you're doing something that you've done that no one in your family has done and is uh, moving on the forefront of energy. Okay, so to get where you had, you had to have a certain degree of faith and knowing, and you just kept um, kind of moving through. Okay, now I feel like this is a, a, like another transitory phase where there's going to be big changes. I feel like this card doesn't come up if there, uh, and especially if it's n a number one. This card doesn't come up. Um, for not making changes. So I feel like if you're not changing, I feel like that is a call for uh, movement uh, and to do something that is uniquely different. Not just to be different, but something that you can personalize with your energy and then share uh, to the collective or masses, right? Okay, now, I feel like you uh, feel really charged up, uh, and also with that, recharging is important too. I'm picking up. Okay. Um, you may be doing things that you've never done before. Now I feel like a sense of more confidence. Um, so if you're getting ready to get married, for some of you. I feel like uh, it's like recalibrating the energies to make that big shift, right? Okay. Oh, okay. For some of you, it's not a big shift. For you, some of you, it's just like uh, the next stage. Okay, something like that. Okay, and because you've been working on the relationship a while, and it's just um, letting the public know uh, that you uh, have chosen each other. Okay. All right, so um, also with this, check in to see if there's any kind of uh, like father-son uh, dynamic that you can improve, right? Okay, or father-daughter dynamic, okay. Sometimes we want to uh, just keep moving forward. So there's that message too. Uh, go within and decide um, because you know best. Okay, so tune in and figure that out. Okay, so th but there's that for some. Okay, now I feel like there's a sense of... Um, there's non-physical support when you feel a lack of faith in a direction. So uh, just always remember that. You have that inner wisdom that you can always tap into. Um, sometimes music can be soothing also. Um, okay. 
So I'm picking up songs of David for some people. Okay, so um, it's a Christian. Okay, background. Okay, songs of David for someone. Okay, now, um, okay, so I feel like for some of you, you want to know about your finances. Okay, I feel like that's been pressing. <laughs> while I'm trying to drink my coffee. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right. Okay. Anytime your emotions are tied into things with money. Uh, I feel like there's a call for looking at the details. Okay, for example, when I was a real estate agent, right? <clears throat> um, well, I still am. <laughs> Kind of, but yeah. okay, so, but anyway, <laughs> all right, all right, so, um, anytime there's like something emotional with a, a big purchase and things like that. Um, there is a call to pay attention to the details. Okay, so um, sometimes, like for example, okay, okay, like in cases of the past that I came into experience with, like someone didn't get a particular house, but then the other house happened to be. Um, the better house, right? The one that didn't go through, uh, it, it was leading them to uh, something else greater. Okay, so it's like if you tune into that energy, then you would uh, flow with it. Now, then there is also that, um, there was also that, uh, Okay, so not paying attention to the contract because you wanted something. Okay, so it's like, um, fully understand uh, what is being presented in contracts. And if you don't understand that, then ask the questions, okay. That came up in another reading. Okay. All right, so here it is again. So uh, make sure you ask the right questions. Um, pay attention to the details. Uh, don't let your emotional scale uh, rule over the details of contract. Okay. I feel like that would um, benefit a lot of people moving forward. Okay. Sometimes, uh, let's just keep moving. Okay, so here is the underworld, Hades. Okay, so. Mm hmm. Okay, I picked up Lily of the Valley. Okay. I think that's a message to follow your bliss. Okay, so um, do that. Just keep following your bliss. And I feel like that would be the success to everything. Okay. Um, there is more money on the way. Okay. 
But the, the suggestion is, whatever your creative abilities are, take one foot in a new direction and put something towards that a little bit, like every day or every week, like working towards that creative uh, channel. Okay, some kind of like expanding on what you're doing, but adding some other creative thing to it. Okay. Okay, so for example, like let's say um, you have a YouTube channel, right? and you already sell the t-shirts and things like that okay and then uh it's like calling to see where you could take that even further creatively to another level where it could generate uh revenue for you okay something like that it's like putting eggs in many baskets okay that's the phrase i'm picking up okay so it's like if one, if, okay, so, all right, with finances, you know, um, if you put eggs in several baskets, then uh, if, if something happens, you know, uh, for a time being, you know, like for a moment, okay, then you have your other things to back up. Uh, okay, and so there would be more ease and flow available in those times that things may shift, right? Okay, something like that. Okay, and you can always get a financial advisor too, right? If you don't understand things. Okay. Or find a friend that's a financial advisor. <laughs> Something like that. Then that you, then uh, you you can uh, you know. Um, okay, so you can maybe you can exchange services like back in the old days. Like you could give them love advice, and then they could give you finance advice. <laughs> If you're good in that or something like that. It's an even exchange. All right. All right. So charge up your body so that you can move forward, right? Uh, I feel like there's going to be swift movement here with all this fire here. Nine of Wands. Okay, so swift changes. Okay. And then uh Okay, so Recharging the physical apparatus when you need it. This is Emperor. Okay. So flexibility, openness, clear communication. Because this is reverse. Okay. So you want to feel in your power fully by keeping your faith and knowing. Okay. So um, moving forward here. Oh, I see. Okay, so the emperor and the empress reversed. Okay, so for some of you, that's not going towards love. Okay. But uh, there is victory in the future. So that may mean that you will uh, somehow be able to at least have a friendship there. Okay. Okay, so there's not a willingness to divulge truth here. Okay, so that was the uh, Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, so that's why it didn't come, come together here. Okay, so that's all, for any sign, actually, I'm picking up. 
anyone that was harnessing boss energy and a lot of people were harnessing this emperor was coming up for let's see who was it cancer gemini aquarius libra it was coming up for a lot of the signs so <laughs> all right we it's probably all of them anyway so but that's what i just picked up just now okay so all right so um taurus too yeah i remember okay so anyway um the good news is also if for those who are coupled if there was kind of a pause and needing to regroup energies, that's what I'm getting here on this side, is um, it's going to be uh, fine, okay? All right, here's the four wands. This is like rectification, it says on this card. Helps one live in peace with everyone. Okay, so that's good news. Okay, so, um, but I feel like this is celebrations, like during the holidays, and I feel like maybe that would also bring people together too okay so and sometimes you know holidays can be weird uh sometimes it does the opposite so um there's that too but the good news is there's a positive outcome here okay and then the queen of swords reverse okay so okay so this card on this deck says ritual and ceremony okay can acquire all the treasures of heaven and earth that is the promise here but i feel like uh what is slowing it down or potentially okay so yeah the potentially could slow it down is not staying in positivity Okay, so the key is, on all subjects, go from zero to positive as much as possible so that this abundance can flow quicker to you. Now, now also here with this Uranus, you want to plant new seeds. Okay, do that now. Okay, um, so whatever is distracting your energy over here, start having a plan of action. Even if it's like, okay, today I'm going to do... Uh, the rough draft on paper of the direction I want to take, uh, a new creative direction I want to take in this business that would uh, yield some income, more income, something like that. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. If you have a lot on your plate, it's like you don't have to overwhelm yourself and add more burdens, but as you take the steps to do one thing a day towards this new, uh, I feel like uh, by January you will uh, feel more relieved. I feel like the key here is to feel more relief, and I feel like that would bring you more relief here. Okay. Okay. Right, so if this love thing was uncomfortable and you didn't want to open up, that's okay. Just move with your bliss, okay, and then move that way, and then focus on work. Okay. Now, the thing that you would want to watch for, because this is Hades in the underworld and the Queen of Swords reversed, so the scary part of that is... Okay. All right. So holding any grudges and things like that, you want to release all that kind of stuff because that can lower your vibration and then you get a lower version. It's like you have many probabilities when you create something. Okay, so the version you get is a version of your energy. So you want to release anything that's in the underworld, hidden, whatever you're hiding that's negative, suppressing and all that. Release all that now so that your future can change. Okay. So uh, any negative energy, you want to uh, release that. 
unless you're in service of negative. Okay, so then that's a different thing. But if you want positive outcome, and uh, then you would uh, switch the energy to positive. Okay. And release. And release that uh, whatever you're kind of keeping under the cloak, as they say, right? Okay. And this little, looks like the hermit, a lot of the hermit uh, cards. And there's no lamp here. So maybe there's a need to kind of see what you've been holding, any kind of grudges and stuff like that, and release that. Okay, so that you can uh, bring in the fragrant flowers. Okay. Oh, okay, so a lot of times these, oh, okay, Lily of the Valley, that, that's from my hometown, like where I'm from, they grow in the cold oh. climate, or, or like in, in the shade too, right? Okay, hi, good morning, good morning. <laughs> hi, hello. Okay, she's barking. She wants to say hi, hi. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay all right so um let's see okay so okay so there's that so uh be mindful of speech and things like that be compassionate with words especially during this season and i feel like that would bring you lots of success and um Okay, so clear out whatever it is, this kind of shadowy stuff, because I feel like uh, that money is going to come in, and it could be now. Okay, and then here is the uh, death, the Scorpio card. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so, yeah, release grudges. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. In that creepy movie, The Grudge, right? Okay. Ooh. Okay. In that creepy movie, The Grudge. Okay. So, what happened was uh, the person thought the another person was cheating and they really weren't. Okay, so that might be a message for somebody. So the suggestion is put your energy on something positive if that was you. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Okay. So especially this time of year, release all grudges. And let's say you say, okay, I'm not going to give so-and-so a present. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> okay. Anyway, all right. So let's say, so find, see if within yourself you can reach to shift that energy, okay, to offer them. It doesn't have to be a monetary gift, but it could be like uh, something heartfelt. Okay, see if you could reach for that. Okay, if not, Okay, you could get on a different channel, a <laughs> different subject, right? Okay, but um, I feel like that's the call this year. See if you can release those grudges for some of you and move into uh, the new. We're coming into uh, 2022 here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's the thing. As you release whatever you're suppressing, the fears around monetary things and all that, releasing it and having faith that it's here because it is. The money is here. It's about releasing those energies that are uh, in the way here. Create space so the money can flow. That's the message here for the, for the person who's 
interested about that. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so now also if you're single and a love relationship you've been thinking about, it's coming. And uh, the reason why it was slow is because you were doing stuff like suppressing negative energies. Okay, so that's the message here. Okay, what else? Six of Swords. Yeah, okay. So you're going to be walking away from this energy, the Hades underworld shadow. Okay, so I feel like that's the message again twice. Walk away from that. Okay, unify your energies, perceive from different points to bring you clarity and abundance. You got the swords, right? Yeah, queen of swords here. Okay. Show how you feel on the inside, on the outside. Okay. And that is how you heal yourself, is releasing all this stuff here. Moving in clarity, keeping a clear mind, freeing yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Every day is a new day. Yeah, five of cups here in this underworld energy. All right, so whatever that is was bringing you sadness. Five of cups. There is prosperity here and still the potential to realign all that. Release the idea of enemy. Okay, so that will give you deliverance for one of you. There's one source that streams through all beings. Judgment, yeah. Watch out for how you see yourself and others. Okay. This is atonement of seeing falsity in energy. Okay. So I'm picking up. Okay, we won't go there. Okay, two of cups. Let's leave it there. Okay, so that was the promise here. Okay, with the, the emperor. Oh, this came out in another reading. Empress and emperor together. Okay, did I post it though? I don't know. I deleted so many videos because I was had a backlog. And I was just uh, frustrated with trying to get them uploaded. So I just deleted them all. <laughs> that sometimes non-attachment will do that. <laughs> Okay, so Empress and Emperor. Okay, so Two of Cups. Okay, so Harmony, Unity, Fruition, Abundance. Okay, I leave you with that, Aries. Oops. <laughs>